All right, and welcome back. Thank you for sticking around. Once again, my name is Matt Williamson, and you're watching Married to College Esports. In a matter of minutes, we are going to have our Overwatch match up against Tiffin University. The lobby has already been created, so I'm going to go ahead and get the roster uh, set up. So uh, let, let get the starting lineup here uh, for the Pioneers. So playing today will be freshman uh, Tyler Soundleach or Azadale, freshman Quentin Shields, questionably. Uh, I believe also uh, Junior Morgan White Poseidon's playing along with uh, freshman Mason Flash Harmful Hades and senior that ending shot Granny Sonate and freshman Corey McMahon C4 Gamer. I think that's everyone. And of course, uh, sophomore Vincent Anderson will not be uh, playing because he has now arrived to help with commentating. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing all right. And then also... Uh, uh, let's see, your junior Drayton Piper will not be uh, playing either because he is joining us on Discord uh, to help commentate. So let me unmute myself so that uh, he's aware that uh, we have started up. Uh, so hopefully he is uh, aware here. And I think I have it set up where he should be able to see uh, the game. So we're getting everything set up. Let me make sure the audio is good to go. So that's good. And, no, that's, that's the wrong button here. Make sure we don't have any technical difficulties. There, there, there we go. All right. Uh, so, Drayton, if you can hear me, um, we are at the lobby. We have not uh, started the game just yet, though. So how are yep, you? I can hear you. All right, good. So, see everything all right? Awesome. So, how are you doing today? Doing good. All right. Appreciate you coming to, to help with commentating this match. It should be pretty exciting. Um, Right now, the Pioneers, so let me pull up the uh, the standings in the Great Lakes Esports Conference uh, while we're waiting to get things set up with the, the game. So right now, Marietta is 2-1 in the Great Lakes Esports Conference. Tiffin is 0-3, but do not let that mislead you because two of their losses are from Lords and Ohio Northern, which are right now unde we're both undefeated in the Great Lakes Esports Conference. So they are two big powerhouses, which ironically we'll be playing them in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm excited. Looking like it's going to be a good matchup today. Wait to see what we can do. I believe, right. yeah, we've played Tiffin before, right? Last their last yeah, semester we, last we year. We played them last fall, and that was actually our first win in the uh, the Overwatch team's history. Uh, so we'll see if the Pioneers can repeat that. Uh, I do know that uh, Tiffin has a, a pretty solid team, but um, we'll see uh, how how this goes. So just look at the lobby right now. It looks like uh, Legion Tower will be the first map. That'll be exciting. Mm -hmm. I love that first point. Yeah, I'll and what to see a lot to do with that. It looks like everyone's saying that they're ready. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure. Uh, everything here is good to go. Tiffin's going to be on blue side. Mary will be on the red side. So once uh, we get this started up. And then we also have your Dylan shoulder. So pull up a chair. No, you'll have to find one outside. I'll go, I'll go yeah, go, yeah, go ahead and bring in a chair here. And actually, we might want to swap places unless you want to do the controls. Oh, uh, I can do the controls. I might not be the best at it. I okay. Mean, just because like the mouse DPI, I got to get used to. But All right. That should be fine. Yeah, the only thing we want to try to do is make sure we're swapping between the players. Mm -hmm. Um. And also, maybe we do a little bit more with first person view, too. Yeah, I tried to swap. Is that Q and E or one and two? Uh, I think you. I don't remember. I think you space pressed like, the number. Space is to go between first and third. Yeah, space, space will switch. We'll swap between the positions. Okay. And then I think if you hit the appropriate numbers, um, it's not the F keys, is it? Or it's just a, like one through something to, to go for? It's F. It's the F keys. It is the F keys. F okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the F keys will be able to swap between uh, the All players. All 12 players, okay. Yeah, which right. makes sense. There are, there are 12 uh, F keys. That's That sounds good. All right. Yep. Here's yours. And Ready for that. Okay. Oh, we're going to do this one. Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah. All right. All right, and it looks like the is here. here. Now with their okay. uh, somber reaper comp. Uh. Although it is just in the uh, spawn room, so nothing is... For sure, yet, but it looks like uh, Tiffin's gonna be pulling out uh, pharmacy. Four, three, I think you're right. There looks like a very aggressive dive comp with the Winston and the Hammond. We'll see exactly. Yeah, trying to go I, all oh, yeah. out on getting pills. 
Period will all, yeah. Initial boot could have been a little bit uh, damaging for the Ryan, but luckily he'll be able to get past that. Not gonna be too much of an issue. As does gonna stay on the Diva. We know what he's capable of with his uh, capabilities. He just eat, grabs, and dragons. We'll see exactly what happened. Now we're gonna see initial pick from uh, initial pick from Tiffin actually two, as well as one from Harmful. That's gonna be equalized. Q getting a kill back onto the off tank for uh, Tiffin. We're going to see that. Uh, for the most part, the it's the is yeah. contesting uh, the point, and then maybe the first one to capture it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Marietta will be the first to cap uh, off a pretty scrappy first fight with pretty even trades on both sides. Right. Yeah, if yeah, the ball does get slept, however, he's not going to actually be able to take it out. And then the Ash is just lagging behind on the back. She's gonna throw out her Bob before she dies. Actually, she's gonna be pocketed by the Mercy, so she's actually gonna be able to get out safely. That was a pretty good play by her. And although the Diva's going to use her Bomb, I don't think she actually got anyone with it. We're going to see a nice res back onto the off tank for uh, Tiffin. Again, like, I'm... There we go. Yeah, this, this could be, again, this could be like a pretty even match right now, because as we have lost team fights, won team fights, which I see how to for the rest of the game. And again, like these these boots, I'm I'm getting a little I'm getting a little sweaty because I, I don't know if they just gonna just get like a five man boot off. The Scooby Goofy gets a nice beam kill for the Moira, as well as the ball. Again, Zep's just staying on the ball and he's just getting so many kills with him. I always thought of Ball as just one of those stall characters that I wouldn't actually use to to like consistently, but he's just racking up kills with them. He doesn't care. He's he's getting he's we're trying to get boots off, we're trying to just get any sort of environmental kills you can, or just straight hit him with the ball itself. It's really interesting. Yeah, it like Marietta is right coming so. into this fight with uh, even ult economy. Uh, the nano could be big, but this barrage is important to decide to get her. Uh, although, uh, a well-timed EMP is going to all that down. They go in with the EMP and the shatter, nano's out. Tiff, uh, Tiffin doesn't have anything to respond to that. They're using all their ults, but they're just getting rolled over. That was a very well done executed combo on that of the monkey. Monkey uses his ult, gets hacked immediately, gets destroyed by the Rhine. However, it's going to be a little difficult for her to bring that back with the picks and res that are going off on Tiffin's yeah, side. And it looks like the big res onto the Farah might just turn the fight as Marietta doesn't really have much to counter it, and it looks like that is going to be them holding on despite a good start to that fight by Marietta. Yeah, like, I, again, like, if the, if the far is going to be that much of an issue, they're going to have to figure out a way to counter it, switch with the composition yep, play style. Side has off to Ash, oh, uh, opting not to go with the Sombra here, as uh, the far seems to be too much issue, and it looks like he's going to be getting a pocket from Grant. Azadale yeah. getting aggressive here, gets a pick, although it is traded out in time by uh, Tiffin. Maybe a big Diva Bomb here. He doesn't get anything, he gets a remix though. Three even trades coming up on the side of Marietta and Tiffin. This is anybody's fight right now, but Marietta needs to win this if they want to have a chance of capturing the third second, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. Yeah, like, Asriel was uh, trying Asriel super hard back. right there. He was he was trying to get off that Ash, but when she's pocketed with the spam heals out of Mercy, it's going to be really Although, as I say that, Marietta gets a 3k, 4k to make that, and they're coming back into it really fast. That is quite a swing by Marietta. That was very well like done. That fight was over, but they were able to clutch it out. Incredible like tank play, yeah. unquestionably. It's so surprising when you see something like that. Like, you think it's a lost team fight, but something happens like that. Like, that was really well done by Q with his double kill that really helped out uh, the situation. I was impressed. Again, like, Zeps is just staying on that ball. He really wants to make sure that he's going to be able to contest point whenever he wants to. They're just running two off tanks, just going straight forward. They don't, they don't care. They're, they're on it. Hopefully they can hack him up again. Yeah. Full spawn comes out, doesn't get much. Uh, the barrage has returned and it gets D4 Gamer. That, it looks like this fight is going to be a win for uh, Tiffin, however. Uh, Merida trying their hardest, but it looks like unless this bot can do some major work, it's probably going to be the round. Oh, and he gets booped off, but he is able to stay back on if he needs healing, though, and he does not get it, but somebody's on point. Looks like someone's like a Lucio. Out. 
It's always great to see Lucio Lucio is staying alive, alive, but how long can he sustain that for? Apparently not very long. The ceiling mine got to be there. Yeah, the, the, the right area the denial. So tracer, good. That could be big. There's Spoopy with his beam kills. He's so good with those. He's incredible with them. He just he, he tar hooks his targets, gets kills off. Bob is coming out. This could give Marietta some time to stall. It does immediately get one kill. And there's another one. Uh, although it looks like pretty even trades. Marietta is still in this, although Tiffin does have capture progress. Marietta could pull this fight off. It is looking very good for them. Again, Marietta just coming in the clutch with big tank play and pretty big ash play as well. Again, that was yeah, very and Marietta will Marietta. retake it at 75%. I'm really because interested. Tiffin, yeah. I'm, I'm because impressed Tiffin by did capture the point, it's going to be hard. Uh, it, it, Marietta could have ended up with 99% if Tiffin had not captured it, but they were not able to... And we'll see with the monkey, like, again, if he's going to get another primal off, they're going to either have to... I mean, they're not running the Sombra anymore, so getting rid of that monkey ult can be a little difficult. That's what lost them a lot of fights the last time. Uh, the CV it looks like Poseidon is popping off here, although it's returned by two picks from the Phara, and uh, this, this is really anybody's round right now. And that's Coming good. Nice Hades thing. is Very off the map. Unassisted by anybody else. I don't know what happened there. The bomb just to zone, but he cannot get back to his mech, and that is terrible. Uh, Q trying to get back to the point, and he wastes the shatter, and that's going to be it. Marietta was able to clutch out some big fights, but they weren't able to clutch out the biggest fight. And that was, and again, like, with with how things have been going in, in the round and all the, the overtime and just contesting point over and over and over again. Uh, Mario was just trying to figure out some way that they were just, like, they, they flipped the point, it's now theirs, and then again, the monkey comes back, uses his primal, gets picks off, it's not that big of a deal. When Marietta had a Sombra, they countered that monkey. The monkey uses primal, and they just took him down. But then once they got rid of the Sombra, it was really difficult to deal with him. And that was one of, not just, it was the, it wasn't the only factor, but it was one of the factors that was really difficult for Marietta to flip that back. So that's going, the first going to first point is going to go to different. Marietta's making some comp switches, running out with the Junkrat, sticking with the Pharmacy on the other end, though. Let's see how this plays out. Looks like pretty mirrored on the support line. The DPS and tank lines are vastly different, though. Uh, the only similarity being the app. I do like Zep. He's just sitting on the ball. It's just, I, I, he really likes that character. We are going to see Poseidon get that initial pick on the bar, but it's going to be res immediately. And C4 is going to get the kill. That, that means monkey. they don't have the res to get up their monkey, and that's big. Having the, your main tank out of the fight almost immediately because you use your res on an Ash, not, or on a Fara. This is a much more uh, aggressive push up from Marietta. They did get first cap last time, however, they are going to be getting a much more definitive first cap on this one. Clear team, by the way. And, like, setting up for the incoming attack. Jump rats, placing down traps, mines, getting ready, taking high ground, or not. Just spamming into the enemy team. That's how you get a lot of value. And Poseidon with another early kickoff. They have to use res before the fight's even started. This could be a big momentum shift for Marietta. We are going to wrap it up with two more kills. And Marietta is coming back with a vengeance on this map. Again, the, the beam is just doing so much for them. It's just, it's really good that they were able to use us ult effectively. You hear the team kill bell. Marietta is doing something right. Again, Tiffin. Oh, wait, no, sorry. We, uh, Marriott already has 50% off, so we're going to see how much the point they're going to be able to get before either gets flipped or they just take the whole uh, point for this map. For this side, at least. Looks like Tiffin's going to try and take left. Two different ashes this map. Tiffin's Moira, 
which he's got plentiful kills with, and that's gonna be a combo into Farah's ultimate. That's very well done. Zeph getting another frag yet again, but then as is gonna try and save it with Tyler his bomb. Tyler out the bomb, seeing if he get anything. He gets one, but that is not gonna be enough for Maria to come back in this. They're already down so many. It doesn't look like it will be. Going on the point uh, to try and get some ult charge skins. And that is going to be a uh, flip. Although it's uh, looking like 90 to 16, so Merida just keep one team play win, and they're coming up on some ults. And again, like, yeah, that Bob, yeah. uh, tire. Okay, wait, wait, they're gonna be able to, there's the mines that I was thinking about. Zep's just gonna be able to somebody kill with this. It's gonna be one right into and the jump. And the 80s throws themselves into the mines. Massive shatter. The shatter is big, though, gets almost everyone. Will there be enough follow-up? The Bob's coming out. It's looking like some even trades so far. Tyler Azadale gets the kill. Rez onto the onto the Reinhardt is gonna be big. The invisible beam just healing up the entire team. And there's Zep finally. And it looks taken like Marriott is gonna take it. I just think it's so interesting to watch ball gameplay because it's because it, he's such a he's such a unique character to see. And he finally gets taken out from being able to stall. It's just We'll see if, if Asda can have a like Hail pass. Tire to get the stagger on, on them, so they're not going to have a full team play coming into this. They're already down three players, and it looks like Mary is trying to end it right here. There's a nice fire strike Merida kill. Is coming out swimming, swinging with big plays from their tanks, from their DPS. Let's hope a bubble doesn't affect them now. Everything has been going well. The zoning bomb just to make sure nobody can touch, and it takes out the ball as he's trying to get there. Marietta bringing me back, and this is uh, just looking like a lot better for Marietta. Opening up, switching off the Somber Reaper to go with some more comfort picks, and it's working out well. Again, I am I think that uh, on Li Zhang, they're going to pull out another uh, pharmacy. I don't expect to see much changes there. Marietta might pull out a Symmetra, but it looks like uh, Tiffin might be switching over to a Rhine to try and counter the big plays questionably. Uh, soldier pick. Not expecting that. Uh, let's see if it sticks, though. No, it looks like it could be just a Reaper. I'm really impressed with how, like, again, Tiffin was just using the monkey ball, like, so often. And I was I was worried because I was seeing that, like, Onazadeo would throw out his, his, his bomb. I was like, oh, that bubble's got to be broken first. But even if the bubble's not broken, like, Azadeo could still create a lot of space for his teammates. And it was just, it was really useful in the end. And I, obviously, Zep gets the, it's killed by it at the very end of the last point. He's gonna be tied up in Marietta right now. Questionably with an early pickoff against his Ryan counterpart. Although it looks like they're gonna be some even trade. Although if they can get this uh, Mercy as she's falling away, they do. The Ryan's back into the fight, but it's a bit uh, too little too late. Looking like it's just gonna be some more ult charge for questionably. And uh, Hades has almost 50%, Hades has 50 of his ult. That's a big play from the. Uh, the Ryan and Reaper, wrapping up that, that fight. It's like the uh, the Reinhardt pick for the side of Tiffin might not have been the greatest choice, but they're gonna have to live with it, as uh, somebody's gotta block those shatters. The shatters have been absolutely big, siding with a big dynamite, getting him a lot of ult charge. Another invisible beam doing some dead work. Yeah, that'll keep ball off point for a little while, we're gonna see. There's gonna be a good one fight for Team, for, team Fight for Marietta. 35% in their name. They're looking pretty good so far. And they far. only had to use one ult that fight. Yeah, and again, we're seeing a lot of really good all economy coming up. We got Bob, uh, actually no, we don't have Bob, uh, Tiffin is about to have Bob. There is actually, there's, there's Tiffin's Bob. Bob comes out, he's getting immediately focused down by Marietta. Hugh with a huge pickoff, and Poseidon is just shutting down this Fara. Coming in for the res, they do get the Fara, but it's traded out, and it just ends up beating ult charge to Hades. I'm surprised that they're sticking with this Fara pick, as once you get into the point, as Marietta is kind of just sitting on point waiting for Tiffin to come to them, Fara can't really do much in this scenario. Right, so Fara is better for the outdoors fights. 
where or, yeah. there's a whole lot of verticality and range, and there's just not much of that in, once you get inside the point. She must just be waiting to burn that all. That's what I'm probably get, thinking. She's probably going to try and find a time where she can just use it randomly and just get something yeah. off of it. Poseidon is checking all the entrances, though. He's ready for that to come out, ready to respond. It does look like Reaper will be falling. Poseidon just standing still. Poseidon must have went AFK and, uh, or something must have happened to his computer or something. I guarantee that, that something must have happened. So, yeah, not... uh, although that is a lost team fight, it might have been a, uh, a technical issue with Poseidon. It looks like he's good now, but he must have went AFK accidentally, or he something must have happened. He must have alt-tabbed accidentally. Happens to some people. Meredith still has 99%. Easy point for them. They just need to be able to get back to this fight. Still have a lot of ults to burn. It's one team three ults uh, coming up. Oh, that is a big corner shatter. That's going to get them to point, but he's immediately killed. Although it does look like Tiffin is able to capitalize with three kills of their own. Uh, the res coming out on both of sides, much more valuable for Tiffin as the Mercy falls for Marietta. This is going to be a reset, although they didn't have to use any ultimate. They didn't use any ultimates in this fight, which means that they're still building their ultimates. They just need one big team fight. The uh, Tiffin used their Valkyrie and their Shatter, so that's two big ults that uh, Marietta has a big advantage. Yeah, we're gonna see a we're gonna see a lot of blossoms. Uh, we're definitely gonna see is the bomb coming out. Potential bomb if they can get rid of the Rhine Shield. Oh, the bomb just takes down the Mercy. That's a big pick, but it, the bomb is still doing work. This is not the end. Girl, the there's that Moira being coming out, very taken care of by Poseidon, very well done. It's gonna be a double charge, double stun, and we're gonna see that maybe a little 1v1, but Poseidon's gonna Poseidon finish up as well. Kills. Again, just the pinpoint accuracy. He used the Bob earlier in this fight, and he's already 66% to the next one. If Merida can keep him alive, unfortunately they can't. He could have built up another Bob that fight. And again, uh, he's just trying to keep everyone alive. Camping. But There's Zepsi. But Zepsi just keep all getting so many picks. Yeah. That's a big value play for, for Tiffin. Uh, as questionably also falls with Shatter. And the D.Va is taken out of mech 4% away from the ultimate. And that is unfortunately going to be map 1 going the way of Tiffin. Yeah, that, um, yeah. I, really close. Yeah. A huge part of that, I will say, was most likely... I don't want to... Okay, I don't want to blame it on this, right? I don't want to do this, but if the side hadn't have gone AFK, I think the story would have been a little different. But, like, that's just me. He had Bob. <laughs> they he did have Bob, Bob and they Although totally could have done like it. The, if he had gotten a pick... Oh. Yeah, so that was, that was two, so the game might not have been set up right, but that... Yeah, I don't know why it was still going. Yeah, that should be a... That's a point for Tiffin. It takes a 1-0 lead, but Marietta looked very strong on Bijan Tower. Yeah. They, uh, yeah. they could just run the pharmacy, though, and uh, Marietta's got to make picks that uh, shut down the pharmacy. So, apps like uh, King's Row might be coming up next. And I will say, the biggest thing right now, the biggest thing right now Marietta needs to worry about, they cannot let this mental pressure get to them of how they're down 0-1, because they have to keep okay. remembering. Because right they gave yeah. me owner. All right, that's that's great. Yeah, like, so. And and I'll say they cannot let this mental pressure get to them because if they because again this was literally again side went AFK they just barely lost the map barely they had so much going for them they had so many good fights it was just bad luck practically for them because of the AFK issues because of how big it was that's such an issue that ha it would happen with the gameplay I'm just saying if Marriott lets this mental pressure get to them this match is so close that it could lose them the, the following maps they have to make sure yes we can win this yes it was bad luck let's bring this back they have to do that if they let the mental pressure get to them they definitely will lose this they have to make sure because it's super even right now they were really 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 even fights it was 2-1 99 percent on each side until it gets to 100 that's it was super super close so i know that they can do this they just really have to make sure that it was a mistake it happens Poseidon's literally gonna go fk someone's gonna go afk something's gonna happen they're gonna alt tab something's gonna happen it happens it happened we move on we get past it. They're going to be able to do something better this time. And I know they will be able to. They just can't let it get to them. Yes, they're down 0-1, but they can beat 1-1 in a singular map. They can do it. It's not a big deal.
That's one thing they really have to worry about because I know I know that feeling. I, they really have to make sure that they are just keeping on track. They have their minds clear because I know that was a winnable map. It was very winnable. They all knew that they could do it. And again, like I let's and I will say I will look at uh because I've been I've been loving on uh, Marietta so much. I also want to give some love to Tiffin. Their their zap is really good on the ball. I love the Moira beams from uh from us uh, from Spoopy. I think is his name. And uh, they they do some they do a really good job with their team fights. They they want to win this, and they will not stop. They will make sure that they will get stuff off that they can. But as at the same time, Mary, it's just as winnable for Marietta. So I will just say that like again, Tiffin's doing amazing right now, and so is Marietta. They just have to realize that like this match can go either way. If Marietta wants to take that. They have to keep that determination in. They have to make sure that they have that. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult to do anything about it. You can't really carry in this game, per se. Like, it looks like we are going to Hanamura. That is uh, Marietta's team pick. And let's see. Uh, let's see what uh, side Marietta will be starting on. Currently, it looks like they're going to be attacking, but they uh, Tiffin does have a chance to pick which side they start on. I'm really interested to see what they'll do on attack on Hanamura. You might see a Sim teleport strat. They might not. Uh, those always Marietta always knows how to counter those, but uh, we'll see if they are confident enough to to feel if if Tiffin is not um, does not have the capability to counter theirs. I will say again, Asdale can go off with the Diva bombs if they clear out the shields, clear out anything that can stop it. Any monkey bubbles, Rhine shields, Sigma shields, anything. It's, yeah, it, that way you can hear what's going on. If there's anything that's going on like that, like if they clear out the shields, get a hack bomb. They can do a hack bomb if they want to. The ha the bombs are really really important. The timing for them, I've been I've been really good. I've seen Asdale use the the trick to to fly up in the air and let go of it precisely at the time you need to to get the bomb to fall down right when it's gonna go off. I love doing that with uh, with uh, Diva. She's one of my favorite characters. And like again, he's doing super good with getting these off. He's doing a really good job with focusing targets, but again, he's focusing targets that are being spam killed by Mercy, and it's really difficult for Diva to get a lot of damage off in a short amount of time because of uh, because of how difficult it is to you have to uh, dump build abilities into them, you have to dump your rockets into them, you have to dump your primary fire into them, you have to charge at them with your with your boosters just to get some damage off into them. And if he's still being spam healed by Mercy, it's so much allocated to an opponent that it's just useless. And then the guy is still able to just shoot fire back at you, just, just shoot back at you because the Mercy is just pocketing him. And then Azdeo realizes this and tries to go for the Mercy, but the Mercy just backs out. I feel like focusing targets is just such an important aspect of it because when you're solo fighting someone who's being spam healed by a Mercy, you're not going to be able to get that person off unless you have a teammate helping you out because the Mercy is just going to keep regenerating his health bar over and over again. There's nothing you can do about it. So like Asdale is just having trouble figuring out if he's going to be able to to call out targets for his teammates, if he's going to be able to get so much stuff off to where he's actually able to coordinate fights. We'll see how much how, be how much better he can perform. So I, I had to focus on Asdale right there. We can focus on a different player, depending on how much info I get from this match. And again, uh, if Spoopy and and uh, can get his beams off, Zep can if, if he plays ball again. I'd love to see it. I I do love ball. I love seeing uh love seeing the gameplay. Like I said, and uh, I know I know DVN was also going off with his Ash. So we'll see how this is gonna go. This is the classic setup. We all know what happens here. Sim teleport strat, maybe sim teleport strat not, but we will see because since Mary is on the attacking side, it might not happen. Maybe they assume that Tiffin already knows that there's going to be a sim teleport strat. Uh, it looks like they're just going to try for a classic, you know, push through the choke, get the point, get the win, and we'll see exactly how that's going to perform. Deviant is going to be on the May, so he's going to try and get some walls off, try and you know, like, buy some space, buy some time. We'll see how that's going to perform for Marietta. Other than that, uh, Zep's going to be on the Zarya. Very fun character to play, very powerful character to play. We can allocate the bubbles effectively. That'll be really, really powerful. And I mean really powerful for Diva Bombs. If Diva Bombs have to worry about both two different Zarya bubbles and a Rhine Shield, Diva might not be able to get anything off most of the time. 
the diva has to remember that. Diva on defense, I for some reason I swear, is so difficult to use on my on, in my opinion. So well actually no offense, my bad. I am completely wrong about this. Sw switch what I just said. Diva's on the offense. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Z Zarya and Ryan are gonna be on the defense. So again, the two shields, it's gonna be really difficult. Two bubbles and a shield, really difficult to get off. So that part was right. Pocket from C4, and if he can get some early pickoffs, that could be big for Marietta. They're really relying on that. Azadale going down to what looks like 1 HP, getting killed up, getting a bunch of ult cards for Ivana. Yeah, we're gonna Ivana's see. coming yeah. up on a nano already. That's a lot, yeah. Than any other player is getting up their ultimate. It's almost at 100% to that nano boost, and I don't think they're gonna be expecting a nano this soon. Merida has charged up a nano 27% faster than Tiffa has, and Merida can use this whenever they want on whoever they want, although it might be looking like it could be the Rhyme. I will say, they're like, all, they're the, also yeah. coming up on the, the, the juggling with trying to get the heals, like, the heals are coming in really slow for Marietta. Like, the, the target heals as well as the, the tonic heals are being really slow for them, and it's difficult to get anything off. But there's a double kill. Lots of bolts coming out from both teams, but it looks like Marriott is coming on top. They res the one person who died, although as I say that question, it does fall. And it looks like Marriott will be taking a standing position on first. Enough. Poseidon just clicking heads. That's three headshots in a row. He has to settle for a body shot to finish off the Moira. But that is just a dominant performance. Already 46% to his next ultimate, and he used that at the very beginning of the fight. Will look like uh, Marietta, unless the Steve of Bombs will have to go get the Dragon Knight, as uh, they only have the Valkyrie and Bomb. The Bomb is big. Tyler and Azadale is capable of those. Uh, this could be a very good team fight. I see Marietta taking top right. That's going to be interesting. Ryan on the corner probably was looking for a shatter, didn't have enough time to get it off. That's a big that's both healers for Marietta down, but it does call to cost him an ultimate. With this big of a time bait, Marriott is to retreat, regroup, and uh, go next. Yeah, this is going to be a hard reset for Marietta. A lost team fight doesn't mean much. They already got the first point. They can chill. They have 4 minutes 30 seconds to get the rest of this. Not going to be too big of a deal. We might see a Diva Bomb, some Valkyrie. I don't know if those are combos that often. I don't know really know what Valkyrie combos with. To be honest, I mean, it's just it's... Valkyrie is just good to keep the rest of their team alive. But uh, Merida is coming up on five ultimates within a uh, 10%, and we've seen how fast the Ana can charge her nano. If Merida just takes a little bit of damage, they could be looking at a six ult fight that they can have on their hands. Can open up with the mob, although it questionably does fall. It does look like he's gonna get res. But more people from Merida falling. A big shatter. Can we get? Can they get value after it? Looks like uh, the bomb will be coming out, and uh, all that's left for Marietta is going to be the Nano and the Valkyrie. Uh, Marietta it is pushing in onto point. Nano comes out onto the Zarya. Valkyrie is popped. Azadale looks to be getting out of mech, and that's just a, that's a whole lot of alts for a whole lot of nothing. Right there for Marietta. Azadale trying to get the... Uh, he crushes the May with his uh, remake. That was fun to see, I will say. <laughs> Yeah, didn't get anything with the bomb, but he d is able to get something with the remake, pushing the uh, pushing her all the way into the corner. But yeah. And looks like Marietta only has the nano. Uh, looks like Q's gonna be taking a little bit of sleep not... for a little while. It's gets slept. Looks yeah. like cross map by the by the Yana this side. That's pretty fun to see. Again, Poseidon is charging up adults very quickly. That mercy pocket is so so crucial for getting a lot of value out of the ash. And he just gets a pick off. There's no mercy to res that. They're down a healer. This is where Marietta should be pushing. Uh, ice wall comes up. Will be, and the grab is eaten by Azadale. That is a great eat. Although there's not much for Marietta to capitalize on after that, as the death blossom is huge with a 4k. Yeah, that's uh, it. Marietta's yeah. kind of stalling out here. Got to get something out of uh, try to save up their ults. They almost have Bob. They have Nano. They're coming up on Valkyrie and potentially a bomb this fight. Um, so Marietta's got to get something done. They used all their. They very top loaded that last fight. Uh, the fight two fights ago with all of their ultimates. They got to spread them out more carefully. We were expecting the Nano to come up during the fight, but by the time they got the Nano, all the ultimates had been used. 
So Mary has got to play safe with their ultimate economy. Going right down middle straight at them. Uh, looking pretty good for Marietta. Bob with the 2K. Uh, getting up to the 3K from Bob. Bob is doing something and he's doing a lot of it. The res comes up onto questionably. However, Hades will fall. Uh, looking pretty good for Marietta. All though as they finish off the rest of the team. Although it looks like a couple late kills might be an issue for Marietta. The May is slightly off the point with her ice block. That's unfortunate. Trying to stall for a little bit of extra time. Uh, looks like they throw out the blizzard. Maria has two ticks, a big ante, a big ante from Granny. That is four players ante, although it's not going to be able to be followed up much because of the earlier kills on uh, by Tiffin. And that's what I'm talking about right Marietta there, massive ante. Like, like massive ante, but then the Rhine Shield shields his entire team. That's what I was worried about with Azdeo and his, and his and his bomb is that the, the Zarya bubbles and and Rhine Shield. It's, those are going to do a lot of work for Tiffin just walking into those bombs, like. Uh, that's that's what I predicted. It's just really difficult to get any 6Ks or 3Ks or 4Ks off of it. Like this will be married as final fight. Sidon opens it up with a quick kill. Uh, coming out, uh, anti on and the ice wall. That's gonna isolate two from Marietta. Big shatter if Marietta can capitalize on it. They do. The tip and throws out the nano. Uh, looking like a lost fight here for Marietta. However. The Shatter was big, but the Nano was able to save the Reinhardt's life. And it's looking like Marietta is going to have to back up here. They have one more team fight, potentially. Especially if uh, Poseidon can get a Bob, throw that on point. Hades is coming up on his Death Blossom, and the Death Blossoms have been pretty big this game so far. Um, Poseidon looking to get in position. He does have Bob, immediately throws him on point and starts capping. Uh, they, are they gonna let Bob cap? No, it does not look like it. Uh, Tyler Asdale tried to eat that crab, unfortunately did not work out for him. Uh, trying to eat the blizzard when it comes out, but the blizzard is 12% away. And it's like Marietta is gonna be stalled out on second. It's still very winnable for them, however. They do have a very strong win condition in holding first and having a good second point defense. Yeah, again, this is first point was taken by Marietta. weren't able to get the second one. But if they can, if they can defend pretty well, they're they're still going to be able to get a lot off. They just have to make sure that they're they're really uh, vigilant for for what could come their way. And I, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, those those diva bombs. Like, I mean, because I'm not saying yeah, you should play somber, but like, if if they played a somber, they could have gotten a lot of hack bombs off the the somber. Could have just walked into the fight, used your EMP, got rid of the entire Rhine Shield, and that diva bomb could have been not just a one K, but it could have been a three K or four K or at least a two K. So like that was that was just something that I was thinking about because I know with all those shields and and, and vulnerable and vulnerabilities of the bubbles that it's gonna be difficult to get any huge a huge grabs off. And again, uh, epic uh, or epic Evan, he was doing really good. With the with the Reaper getting those blossoms off, he is going to be switching to the Semester, which means Attack we may see the Sim teleport strap. So we'll see exactly how yeah. Marietta handles that, and they're they're pretty Poseidon well. Poseidon and it. Granny are both, both well experienced with dealing with Sim teleports. Although if they teleport somewhere that we're not expecting uh, with this Bastion, I don't know if they want to put the Bastion directly on the point. If they are running this, they still have ten seconds to make switches. This could just be them picking for fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Incoming. It looks like that is what they're going to be running out with. Uh, an interesting composition here. But as you can see, there are three people back, and that would be uh, the Ash and the Mercy with the Ana. They're waiting for the teleport. They are expecting something like it. I don't think they've scouted out that they do have a Symmetra. Uh, looking like they're taking their time here, but that just gives Marietta even more time to prepare and stand out. Uh, both teams' compositions have been revealed after the 15 second mark. Uh, looks like they're teleporting right, uh, immediately trading two D uh, DPS for DPS. Uh, Reinhardt getting up aggressive. Poseidon just clicks his head though. That was very well done. Uh, like this that. Bastion is doing the work. Uh, Meriden expecting the TP right down middle. Uh, however, uh, Tiffin comes from a different angle that they might not have been expecting. And this is a very good position for Tiffin to take a 2-0 lead. 
as they have a big time bank with over six minutes. That was very uh, well done. To just capture yeah. two and a half points. Tiffin has definitely stepped up their game from uh from, from what I've been able to see. Like this is this is really good for the for the team. Like they're like throughout this game they've been doing better and better and better. And again, Marietta just has to make sure that like they can still win it. It's not that big of a deal. They just have to remember they need to do they need to focus in the moment. What are they doing now? What are we bringing? What alts are we gonna use? And as long as they're focusing on that, they're not worried about losing. They're not worried about how the score differential is, they're fine. Yep, the Sim TP does come out, setting up the Bastion on the high ground. Poseidon trying to get some early shots in there. They do have quite a bit of uh, quite a big charge on Bob. They do have the chance to use that. Early pickoff onto the Symmetra. That is going to be a big pick. Looking to finish wrapping up with a couple more kills. Although the Bastion is left somewhat uncontested on the high ground. In the teleporter, sitting there, shredding Marietta. Azadale pulls out the bomb just to make sure that he can remake because somebody has to go up there to test. If the Bastion is allowed to just sit there, oh, and Granny with a big kickoff onto the healer of the Bastion. Um, see, they're throwing an orb up there in desperation. Big Shatter comes out um, from Marietta. Questionably has been the same with the Shatter and in all his other games. Nano onto the Rhine, potentially just to keep him alive as the fight was already won. Uh, or just to wrap up the fight. Questionably 32% on his next ultimate. Merit is coming up on a couple but doesn't have any immediately. Meanwhile, there is a Shatter and uh, Bastion ultimate waiting for Tiffin. Yeah, Merit is at a bit However, of an ult disadvantage, but off not of dead. The Cause like if they're if they're gonna be down almost advantage, it, they'll they'll be at one. It's not gonna be the big of a deal. They spent all some potentially when they didn't have to on the name of the Rhine, but other than that, they still can win this. They just have to make sure that they know wait a little bit, get their charges up, and just go for it. Bond is coming up. See what Tyler Azadel can do with it. Uh, approaching 96, 97. He's gonna have this any second now. Will be a big bomb, big block by uh, questionably. The, the, the diva bomb trades out for the ulting bastion that is a massive value pick however marietta is still falling a bit behind hades does have his ultimate if he needs to use it and that could be big in securing this fight the sleeping zarya is immediately woken up at the bubble waiting and is able to just keep herself alive very well done, Lots sleep. Lots of people on tip and low, although a lot of people on Marietta are also low. Shatter comes out from questionably immediately killing the aura, and I think this might be it. Poseidon clicks another head on hard headshot right there. Uh, and that's just going to have to be a reset for Tiffin. And they built up a lot of ultimates, but they also used the ultimates that they have. Yeah, Marietta really only see. has two ultimates coming into this fight. Yeah, there's Almost four ults right four. there. Azadale needs to eat a grav, and that'll make it a lot easier for Marietta to do something about that. Although at, eating a grav isn't just, it's easier said than done, but Azadale can definitely do it. If he's able to do that, that's going to really equalize a lot of the fights. They're just going to get a lot easier, but we still have to worry about the, the nano, as well as a death loss and Moira Beam. And again, Moira Beams can be a, a dime a dozen, however, um, the Moiras from Tiffin have been pretty successful with uh, being able to get some kills off. So. Azadale coming up on another bomb. This fight. Let's see if he can be able to get it. Meredith kind of giving a little bit of high ground. Poseidon looking to build up another bob. Big grab. Oh, actually only gets one. However, the mercy has fallen and that's not what you want to see. Hades comes out, gets two. Traded out immediately though for another two and it looks like oh, despite the big ultimate uh, Tiffin might be able to win this fight. And uh, Meredith has got to switch to some stall. Marietta needs to touch point, and they're not going to be able to, so that's going to be a 2-0 lead for Tiffin. Uh, still a very close match. It's just unfortunate that uh, the first point had to immediately be uh, taken due to the unexpected dim TP with the uh, Bastion. Yeah, it's like, this, this is really, this is really a blossom. This is a really nice blossom for uh... I have again. I think he did another one though where he got a 4k. I'm not sure why that one wasn't showed, but like, uh, he, uh, again, the sim teleports onto Marietta. 
Marietta knows the sim teleport, but they just didn't expect, yeah, the the different kinds. Like, because there's a sim, there's a sim teleports, just so many different ways you can go. I guess they just weren't, they're usually prepared. Okay, they're just gonna go down mid, like like you said, Drayton. They just go down mid, put the teleporter on point, and they go straight onto it. But that's not exactly what they did. They they planned a different a different strat for it, and uh, they they changed it up. They went to a different area, and it, it caught Marriott off guard. And all they needed to do was just get those initial picks off, and that's uh, finished it off for the first point. And the second point was really well held by Marietta because that second point is usually a little bit easier to get a hold of. But at the same time, it just wasn't enough in the end. So that was very well done. That's going to be a 2-0 a lead for Tiffin. But again, Marietta makes, needs to make sure that the, the less mental pressure they have, the more effective they're going to be. If they if they just they don't need to worry about their down 2-0, if they're just able to just calmly think about it, rationalize it, it's going to be okay. Just go on to the next game. You win it. Back one two. So looks like we're just gonna take a five minute break. So we'll just take a quick breather as we figure out the uh, the next map. Sounds good.
Welcome back. <laughs> we'll be getting right back into our uh, third game. Uh, or our third map, I guess we'll say. It looks like it's going to be on King's Row. And we're going to see that Myriad is going to be introduced back into this. They're down 2-0. However, Myriad can easily bring it back. There have been some incredibly close maps this match so far. I'm going to say that for the most part, if like it's been seen obviously up to it seems like it's going to be one-sided but i will tell you that a lot of these maps have been really really winnable for marietta and there's going to be a lot of potential to bring it back if marietta wants to do it though they have to remember that they got to stay calm make clear-headed decisions push when they need to push fall back when they need to fall back if it's a lost team fight it's a lost team fight you don't need to waste time sitting on it it's it's the, all they need to do is just keep remembering this team composition what's going on do they not have abilities that they need if this is going to work out effectively, Barry's going to have to bring it back in, in just a very calm, coordinated fashion. Tiffin is consistently performing well. They know what they're doing. They're getting stuff off. Things are happening. Uh, things are working. And that's exactly what's going on for them. If Marietta wants to do anything about that, they're going to have to be able to get something off. And that's just what... They're going to have to turn the tides. Otherwise, Tiffin will uh, come in strong with, the, with a 3-0... They just, the, the tip, Tiffin just keeps getting them. Out. So we'll see how Marietta can perform on this. Now entering King's Marietta is going to be coming out on attack. I wouldn't be surprised if Poseidon pulls out the Widowmaker to see if he can get some picks. He is a very good hit scan player. And again, yeah, on, on King's Row, you see the high ground right here next to the initial stat, or far back from the initial statue from the attacker side. Very good for getting picks. I've seen Drayton get tons of them. I actually haven't used it before, actually, because I'm, I'm, I'm usually an off tank, but we'll see that. Uh, we'll see how this point goes for Marietta. I I feel like they're definitely. I think they're going to be on attack. So we'll we'll see how they perform on that. And uh, well, obviously they're on attack. They're using the wit on everything. So we'll we'll see how it goes. If yeah, Poseidon is pulling out the Widowmaker, Granny teasing the Brigida, but that's probably not going to stick around for too long. An interesting comp. The uh, you can tell they're hyped. Uh, yeah. Arisa Hog. Arisa Hog coming out and they're gonna stick with it. Uh, looks like uh, an interesting team comp. Not really what I was expecting to see yep. out of Tiffin. Uh, Arisa is not really in a great place right now in Overwatch and uh, Hog has been good in the past, but he's received some pretty big nerfs and uh, I'm just interested to see how Marriott is. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of CC because we'll see, because, uh, again, Orisa's got that pull, Hog's got that hook. We're going to see a lot that they can do with that. They can combo things. It's going to be really effective. They're just going to be able to get stuff off. They're going to point out the Ryan Zarya, two of, their best, uh, two of the best tank heroes uh, for our team. Uh, like an aggressive push from Ezio on the Zarya. Oh, questionably, antsied and shredded immediately. Uh, I'm looking for some picks. Uh, he's not able to find any right now. Uh, like the side he's, gonna, he's gonna be on level ground. He's not gonna be taking the high ground or anything. He's gonna be charging with his team. We're gonna see that's gonna be potentially another lost team fight in Marietta. Without a res, that's to be a quick reset. Switching over to the Ash now is Poseidon. He was getting a lot of success on that hero earlier. Uh, he's, not, he's a bit behind on the Bob right now. However, don't be surprised if you see him getting up a Bob real soon. Zidel is trying to build up some charge, but the uh, Reaper is right behind him. He doesn't have a bubble for that. Uh, not looking like a good start here for Marietta, although Azadel will be getting a revive. Uh, Reinhardt gets pulled in by the Roadhog. Uh, combination is coming through. Marietta does have the, uh, almost has both the portals. However, Tiffin is also amazing as well. Now, this shatter coming up soon. Questionably taking a very long rotation, getting the nano boost, displacing Tiffin, but it doesn't matter. Reaper is the big block from the Arisa shield, and that's going to be a reset for Marietta using three ultimates that fight, uh, getting shut down. I think, uh, I think being down 0 2 is getting time to get to Marietta. I feel like, and, yeah. Uh, they have to remember that, again, that Arisa shield block was, again, a timing thing. I mean, it, it could have been calculated as well, but at the same time, the Arisa shield blocks are pretty rare that, from what I've seen. 
that is, again, they can't let that get to their head either, because I doubt it's going to happen more often in this, in this match. Again, the tire is going to be able to come out as well. Blossom does come out immediately, and that's just gonna be a quick, it has to be a quick reset for Marietta. Every time they want, they have an odd coming out, that is a questionable decision as Marietta is down a lot of players already. Uh, Bob's taking a nap, not likely gonna get too much value out of it. Uh, Marietta not looking good. Switching to the Reaper, that would be why the Bob came out, He's looking to switch. Probably just gonna see if he could get any value at all out of, out of Bob. Uh, two ults coming up, the grab and tire, those will be combined together very well. Bob comes out, but the grab from Azadale is massive, getting most of the members of Pippin, but it doesn't matter. It is fight back, and Marietta coming up with 50 seconds remaining, uh, not looking good for this first attack. So is going to switch to the Sigma. is going to be switching to the Sigma and it's switch. Poseidon over to the uh, Sombra, not sure how I feel about that. The Reaper can get a lot of value here, and, uh, switch mm. and he's immediately spotted out. That's unfortunate timing. I guess they saw the uh, translocator. Ash is hacked. However, it's going to be a tough duel for Poseidon to win. And most of the abilities that already come out from Ash. Is there still pick Ash, on the Ash, uh, Poseidon does get a pick. Uh, looking like Marietta could be coming into this, coming alive on this, they get one tick. Unfortunately, the, uh, the Ana dies without giving out mana, however. Shattered knocks down one is enough to finish securing the team fight. And Marietta, in overtime, is looking to, uh, capture the first point. Big rock from Azadale to finish off Zephy. Um, and it's looking like Marietta is gonna have some time to push up the cart. Uh, big stagger there by Asdale, uh, giving, giving the Ash the very long spawn. Merida can push up and take space right now. 63% on that Gravitic Flux, 83 on the EMP. A lot of big ultimates coming up for Marietta. If they can get a big EMP, follow it up with, uh, picks, this could be, uh, a quick roll into second point. First point, uh... Although they don't have much time, if they can execute this well, they can be going into third point with quite a bit of time on the clock. Also looking behind like again. the tire is almost out, but two people are immediately taken out for Marietta. Answered back with one, and if the rest comes off, it can be even fight. Um, the tire is coming out. Is able to get two. That is massive value from the tire. Uh, taking out a healer and a tank. Gotta get out of the way of that Bob though, he's doing a lot of damage to, our, to uh, the Junkrat. Big grab, the Gravitic Flux coming out, hack onto the, the, uh, the Roadhog, and he's just not able to play the game right now. I love that kill was aided by Sigma, Mercy, Sombra, and Ana, that kill at Junk God. That was a lot of assists, it's very, very well done. Yeah, big swing back from that tire and uh, the Gravitic Flux from Marietta. The tire made it so that uh, the fight became winnable. Oh, that is a big, that's, that is unfortunate. However, Marietta still might be able to push it forward. And if they do, it's, uh, it's by 0 0.01 meters of... is all they need. And there they go, actually, they, they did do it. <laughs> that was very well steps done. off for a split second and that's enough for Marietta to get the last 0.01 meters that they needed. And they have still not used EMP. They're coming up on another tire and another flux. Merida is looking in a good, to be a good position with those five ultimates online. If they can get off a huge EMP here, which it looks like Poseidon is getting ready to do, it all depends on the follow-up. Shatter would be big, followed up by oh, some damage. The, yeah. Oh, and he's immediately taken out, however. That is unfortunate. Um, we're looking to set up a... And they, uh, Tiffin pulls out two ultimates with the, uh, with the Nano Whole Hog. Uh, Merida's gonna be looking to reset, however, questionably almost got rezzed. I'm not sure why that didn't go through. Uh, potentially stepped out of range. Uh, but Merida has those five ultimates now. Nano is up, and, uh, very soon Valkyrie was used, however. EMP comes out, big shatter. Bob comes out in response. 
somehow the Ash stayed out of the EMP, and that might just be enough for uh, Azadale pulls out the uh, Revenge Flux, but it might be too little too late, as Marietta is down big right now. Azadale staying alive. The Nano goes out onto the Mercy, and that is uh, probably a misclick there. Uh, however, it does allow her to get off the res onto Azadale, and it looks like Marietta can push him there for 30 seconds here. They've used all of their ultimates. They're coming up on another Valkyrie, but Valkyrie doesn't have that much value. Uh, Azadale does fall, and Merida has to be thinking about pushing back right now. It's not going, this attack is not going very well, and the hook, that should secure the uh, kill. Merida needs to reset, uh, replan, and come back to this final fight. They're coming in with three or four ultimates soon. Question that he cannot afford to die here. Big Shadow gets three. They may be over commit, however, uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna matter as there's only three seconds remaining and nobody can just that part. And that's gonna be as far as Marietta goes on their attack. Now, Marietta does have a win condition here. However, like Hanamura, it is a very difficult win condition to capitalize as they will need to have a stellar defense. I will say that uh, for a for Marietta, they they've always been uh, I would I want to say uh, not necessarily completely ignoring, it just been you know, neglectful of uh, of the Reaper of Epic Evan. Epic Evan's been going off with Reaper in this in this matchup. He just he gets the high ground, he goes behind, and he just blossoms, or he just gets kills off. What the Reaper is what Reaper is so good at is being able to teleport to high ground, or teleport behind an opponent, drop down on them, get really close to them, surprise them, get two shots off by the time they're able to react, and then he's able to just get the kill off. And he's able to do that with Blossoms as well. And he's doing that a lot on Marietta. Marietta needs to either just when they get on the cart and they get everything off and they they think because it's like it's like just when they think things are gonna get better and then Reaper comes in and finishes them off. If Marietta needs to play incredibly passive just to do that, just to counter that they, they can do that like they need to be able to make sure that if they literally like, if they're ever on like that uh side again where they have to attack and the reaper's just defending and just doing such a good job on that if they have to just literally sit on payload and play and play super passive and just wait for a reaper to and sleep him or or use the sigma and and uh and use his his uh his vortex shield i forget what it's called um and to just eat the the reaper ult like um if he wants to do that like Go ahead. Like, if you want to play super defensive, like, no one's going to get mad. Like, just go ahead. If you if you don't like that Reaper, if you don't like that he's getting so much off, then just just sit. Just play defensive and just wait for it. Looks like uh, Marietta's A now. Immediately gets a pick on to the far and the Mercy. Poseidon flexing over to uh, not his usual role. He's best. He plays best on the hit scans, however. Acting like a hit scan, taking out the two flying characters of Tiffin immediately. That is a big stat, uh, big fight win. And unfortunately, Azadale does fall. C4 Gamer is also falling. That is not uh, what you want to see. As they, uh, they with no res available and no healers right now, uh, Merida is not looking good. It looks like this first point is going to go the way of. Tiffin, uh, Merida's gonna have to have a really good defense. Uh, this is the same thing that happened on Hanamura. They had a chance to, uh, secure a win. However, their first point defense, no matter how good their second point defense could have been, uh, they just did not have the, had too much time to stall out. Yeah, and it looked again, like Tiffin yeah. coming out with five minutes. With, with Merida now, what did we think, what caused them to lose that? And it's Rafar getting those initial picks off and being able to provide, uh, provide space for his teammates and being pocketed by the Mercy. Now Merida needs to go, okay, what's the answer to that? Uh, all the way up until they get inside, the, the far is going to be a little bit dangerous until she can't get that verticality. But there you go, you can just do that. Big pick I mean, off by you can, Poseidon. You can, He's been <laughs> delivering all game. You can just aimbot the far if you, if you want, and that'll do it. So, very well done. The ball is slept and killed. However, the Junkrat does fall. It can be rezzed. Big Barrage actually only gets one and sprinted out immediately. Poseidon looking like he's trying to, he's trying to finish off some more kills. Uh, Tyre is almost ready for the side of Marietta. That could be a big ultimate. Um, as two ultimates have, the three ultimates actually were used in that fight by Tiffin. Or they still have three more. 
Merida is coming up on three of their own, however, and a grab fire could be big as long as it doesn't. Now, one thing that I will say is that, like, the consistency with this is, um, is Beside B gonna be able to literally aimbot Far's head every time she puts pressure on the Marietta? That's the scary part, because I don't know if it's gonna be a thing. Because that was a really well done kill, but again, I don't know how consistent that's gonna be. I'm not saying that Poseidon isn't the best player in the world, because he is, but you gotta, you gotta remember that, um, that he, that he can't always do that. It's looking like he's being pressured by the ball. Too much pressure onto the big grab comes out though. Let's see if there's any follow-up. It looks like there will be sloppy or uh, scrappy fight for both teams. Lots of balls coming out, and somehow Tiffin comes out on top, even though they were down four to start the fight. That is uh that is just some hero play from their Reinhardt uh, without the nano from Spoopy and uh, the Ash was able to finish off some of their kills in four and a half minutes to hold third. Again, Marietta could have a great defense here, but they only have to get it around one corner and Marietta uh, is, would lose 3-0. The tire is going to come out now, looking like he's trying to find a place for it to go. He does take out the line, that is a big pick unless it can get res. Now that Marietta has to focus on denying the res, they get another one. The res does come out, however, Marietta is still uh, that was so well done. in the uh, team fight. That was so That's well done by the Ash. Marietta. It's a good hold for Marietta, but they have to do that for four more minutes. And eventually, uh, if Tiffin plays this smart, they can just get all six of their ultimates. Uh, and they're coming, they have almost four of them already. And Nano and Bob very quickly charge. It looks like they will be opening up with the minefield coming out immediately. The shatter comes out, is blocked, is responded to with a huge response by questionably getting five on the ground. Six team, a uh, whole team kill there, mostly done off the back of that huge shatter. The big block made that possible. That I believe uh, Tiffin thought that his shield would be going down before he could uh, he could get off. Uh, as the uh, Reinhardt was throwing down the hammer, I think Tiffin believed that the shield of questionably would die as it was very low. However, it stays a lot like just long enough for him to block the shatter, and that's a big kickoff right there. Uh, it forces out the res, which uh, isn't even fight. However, now Marietta does have the advantage of having res available, and the uh, mercy has fallen. That is going to have to be a reset by Tiffin. Uh, Bob racking up more kills. That's two out from him. And uh, looking good for Marietta right now. I get the idea. Tiffin is a. Uh, they, they have half their uh, time clock remaining as they did when they first uh, arrived at their point, and they haven't really moved it that much. However, it is still two and a half minutes on the clock for them to get something done. Very nice that sleep. It's a big sleep. Go. Yeah, you will see Granny Sonati, uh, he's just amazing at that. Sleeps. He'll get sleeps and antis like it's like he like eats for breakfast, like it's insane. Like he just goes for it. Fire comes out, is taken fire. out, however. A big barrage, and this might be it for Marietta. Uh, five are down on the four down on the side of Marietta, and there's no ultimate for them. Uh, and it's looking like they're just being able to push it in. That is a team kill looking like and Marietta falls to Tiffin 3-0. That was a really good uh, defense with the Rhine, though. The, the the shatter was blocked. A huge shatter by the Rhine. That was a very well done defense. And again, it was a great and he'll you know, get play for because that was really really good. That was a really nice play by him. So many kills in the span of so few seconds. It was so incredibly the shield good. Shield is at so low HP. The double fire strike kill finishes off another with the hammer and finishes off the mercy with the hammer. Uh, unfortunately, though, Merida cannot keep up that momentum. Azadale with 15,000 damage, Seaport Hammer with 16,000 healing, and uh, 38 elims from uh, the Reaper. That is going to be it for Merida. They fall 3 0 to Tiffin. However, it, all of those maps were close. Uh, with a little bit of improvement, uh, it, Marietta could have very easily won that. And I will say, here's the thing for, for Marietta, is that a loss is incredibly good for them. And the reasoning being is that they have so much they can learn from this. I, I like...
personally like when i whenever i play like rainbow six whenever i get a loss with my team we love seeing that because that means that we're now able to get more info on what we did wrong exact reasons why we lost exact things that can be consistent for the future that we weren't consistent in and that is going to be really really effective for maria they're going to use this they're going to use this video uh of their or just vod review for uh, for future matches and they're going to get so much info on how they're performing and how much better they can perform so although they did lose this they it, it gave them a ticket to being a much better team and that's exactly what every loss does is it gives you a chance to learn so this is going to be really valuable info for me and i'm really proud that uh they were able to still hold up such a good defense either way but yeah i believe that is all all right well i think we're going to do one more thing real quick so, this is a reminder, we do not have our League of Legends match today that has been uh, postponed to Wednesday, 8 o'clock. Probably a good thing just because of uh, how long this match went, but, you know, it's a shame. So, Pio Thumps in the chat for uh, waiting for the League of Legends, which, by the way, if you did not hear earlier, Pio Thump did win our poll. So, you can now use that emotes in our Twitch channel. If we get more subs, then I believe Pio S was second. So... With uh, enough subscriptions, we'll be able to unlock that emote. Uh, but I'm going to try one thing real quick. So I don't think we're going to call it just yet. So we'll be back in just a minute.
Okay, welcome back. We want to take a minute to bring here our Overwatch coach, Derek Games. He managed to come by during the weekend to visit us. So we want to make sure that we introduce him to all of you. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. Thank you guys for supporting us. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All right. So just a couple of quick interview questions. So here's here's my first one. I get this so many times on campus. Okay. You you may even know what's coming. Okay. Is your last name really Games? One hundred percent. I can can confirm. I won't break out driver's license for security reasons, mm -hmm. obviously, but it is one hundred percent last name Games. Okay. You would be surprised how many colleagues I get when they see. Employees, Overwatch coach, Derek Gain. Is, is that true? The, yeah, that, that is legit. The irony is thick enough to cut with yeah. a knife, pretty much. Yes. In fact, so, so going off of that, um, I don't know if you've ever watched Seinfeld, but he had this one segment in one of his comedy sketches where he talks about, depending on the, the name of the person, you may decide what their occupation is going to be. So, for instance, don't name your child Jeeves. Yes. You pretty much locked in what they're going to do for the rest of their life. Yeah. So, yeah. do you think you were born to coach an esports team? I'm not going to say that I wasn't. I'm definitely, I would say, born to participate in some sort of video game or sports-related field. But I just so happened to land here. Okay. And I'm so happy that I did. Okay, well, we're happy to have you here, too. So let's talk a little bit about that game. Now, of course, it was uh, an 0-3 loss, but I think we can say that the score does not really speak for how the game actually went. But what would be your assessment from that match with Tiffin? Like I discussed with the players just afterwards, I am not disappointed one bit with our performance today. Uh, we are leaps and bounds ahead of where we were at this time last year. And I was extremely proud of their performance. They, like uh, Matt said, the score really doesn't indicate, I don't think, the entire you know, performance that the team gave today, because it was stellar, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you talked about the, the strides and improvements. I mean, last year, I think the Overwatch team only came away with one win, which ironically was from Tiffin last <laughs> fall. Yes. Uh, so how have you seen the, I mean, obviously we've seen the team improve. They've taken some wins in the NACE competition and the GLEC. So how do you think the team has improved over these past couple of months? Our communication has definitely gotten better. Our teamwork and team synergy beyond what we were this time last year. Um, you know, everybody's mechanical skill is developing every week and you know that's almost a for sure thing but when we can all be on the same level playing the same game at the same time and kind of rely on each other as second nature that's when i think we're really going to start hitting our strides and being even more successful than we have been in the past couple of weeks okay now in the next coming weeks we have some very <laughs> very interesting matchups yes as we were just talking about a couple minutes ago with the uh, the players so in the NACE competition, we have a, a couple teams with, I think it said, uh, which community college? I, I'm drawing um, it. Montgomery, Montgomery County. And then Penn College. Correct. So what is the, the game plan to prepare for those matches? I want to prepare for those matches as kind of like a prep for our final two GLEC matches uh, against Lords and Ohio Northern. Um, depending on how we are seated today after today's match, um, I think we have a very good shot at at least putting up a darn good fight against them. And I really want to use our NACE competitions these next couple of days uh, to kind of put the best foot forward okay. and make sure we're on the right track for those games later on. So that was going to lead to my next question. So how are you going to tackle the, the match with Lords Ohio Northern, knowing, knowing right now that they're the top two teams in the GLEC? I am one just to say, you know, we need to be the most prepared. Anybody can beat anybody any day, in my opinion. Um, you know, nobody's invincible. Let's, you know, work our butts off this week and, you know, hopefully get a couple dubs. And you never know what will happen when we uh, show up against Lords and mm -hmm. ONU. Yeah, any, anything can happen when it comes to a competition. Hey, I hear that. All right. So is there anything else that you would like to tell everyone who's watching? Uh, you guys can support us on our social media, our Twitch. I know Vincent and Matt here work very hard in terms of casting and, you know, every bit that you guys, you know, watch helps us out immensely. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, we hope to provide some greater entertainment in the future.
All right. Well, well, thank you, Derek, thank for you. coming in to speak with us. All right. All right. So I think that's going to be it for us uh, today. Um, as I said, the League of Legends match uh, will be brought will be up on Wednesday at 8 p.m. against Defiance College. But we'll have several other matches between now and then. As we just mentioned, uh, Monday we'll have the return of our Overwatch team uh, going up against uh, Montgomery County Community College. I said that right? Yes. Yes, making sure. Uh, and then Tuesday uh, we'll have uh, a couple of Rocket League matches. In fact, just to make sure, I'm going to... Uh, just verify that I have the correct names because I want to make sure that if I say who we're playing up against that we do have the uh, the correct opponents uh, for this coming week I believe we're group A that is us so, so for this coming week uh, we will play against Mount St. Joseph University at 8 o'clock on Tuesday and then immediately following that we will be playing against Widener uh, University so so once again, early congratulations to our Rocket League team for their win against Bethel earlier today. And we'll see if they can continue that uh, on Tuesday. So that'll be it for us today. Thank you for watching. For all the latest updates on what's going on with Married Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We do have a YouTube channel too. We have all of our matches are uploaded on there several days after uh, the broadcast. So if you ever miss any of our matches, you can check it out there. But you can go to Married Esports for all of those. So from all of us here, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.